Hello, Tribeca Prop. Welcome back to Shirley's Kitchen Creations. So today you're gonna learn how to make frozen banana popsicles. So I want you to take a look at this and tell me what three ingredients do you need to make frozen banana pops? So take a look very carefully. All right, to give you a clue, I need you to be a detective. The ingredients are right on my kitchen counter. So the first thing you need is something yellow. What do you think it might be? You're right, a banana. The next thing you need is something that's white that you eat for breakfast. What do you think that could be? Hmm, it's creamy. Ding, 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 yes, yogurt. And the last thing you need is cereal. So whatever you have at home or whatever your favorite cereal is, you can use. So today we're gonna use Fruit Loops, one of my son's favorite cereals. So step number one, I am going to peel the banana. Okay, so you have to take a look at all the steps we're gonna do today. You gotta peel the banana. Then after you peel the banana, you're gonna cut it up like this. I'm gonna have it two bananas. Then you're gonna get some coffee stirrers or popsicle sticks. I don't have popsicle sticks, so in my house we have these coffee stirrers. So you put it in through the banana, just like this. After, can you guess what we're gonna do next? We are going to roll this banana on the yogurt and your hands are gonna get dirty, okay, my friends? Your hands are gonna get super, super dirty. So roll it in, roll it in, roll it in. My hands are super dirty right now. Then I need to wipe my hands. So I'm gonna get a kitchen towel and I'm gonna wipe it. And guess what the next step is? We are going to put the Fruit Loops in the bag just like this i'm putting all my fruit loops then after that take a look at this i'm gonna use my kitchen hammer and i am going to pound it until it is into crumbs just like this and if you don't have a hammer at home you could turn your hand into a hammer and just pound it about like 20 times just like this there you go. After you're done, you're going to need a plate and you're gonna open up your Ziploc of cereal and put it in. Voila, take a look at that. Do you see it? All right, then after, this is the last step. You're gonna get your, your banana and you're gonna roll the banana in the cereal. Take a look at this, guys. Take a look at this. So that's one. Then you're gonna get the other one and you're gonna roll it. You're gonna roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it like this. Then the last step you're gonna do, you're gonna get parchment paper. Right, mommy and daddy will give you parchment paper. Then you're gonna put your banana frozen treat onto the parchment paper and you're going to put it in the freezer and let it freeze overnight and when you wake up this would be a delicious snack or breakfast or dessert so i hope you all enjoyed shirley's kitchen creation today and let me know how you like your frozen Kip banana treat, do you like it with what type of cereal? So please let me know what type of cereal you like it with. All right, my friends, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.